Test number four is this wonderful diagram, probably one of the most exciting science diagrams of the 20th century from the Vostok Ice Core. The orange curve at the top is the um, carbon dioxide, and the red curve in the middle is the temperature. Ignore methane in blue along the bottom. And we see a very close correlation between the orange and the red curves, which led people to immediately say, aha, there's the smoking gun. We told you so. Every time the carbon dioxide goes up, the temperature goes up. Every time it goes down, the temperature goes down. But let's just look at the, the bit in the box here, and let's zoom in and look at that a little bit, which is the change from the last glaciation uh, to the uh, modern warm period. So we're going on the right-hand side of this graph 20,000 years ago, and the left-hand side 10,000 years ago. Here's the temperature warming up. Here's the start of the modern warm period, and we're out here somewhere today. This is what the geologists call the Holocene. This is the last ice age. Here's carbon dioxide increasing in parallel with the temperature. We told you so until you look in detail. When you look in detail, you find that the change in the temperature precedes by between a few hundred and a thousand or so years the change in carbon dioxide. Say that again. Change in temperature precedes the change in carbon dioxide. This is a simple cause and effect. Our hypothesis says it's the other way around. You've never heard anybody argue that lung cancer causes smoking. 